Hi, in reference to my this research paper, I will tell you that how we can generate an L27 orthogonal array. So first of all, we need the information regarding the parameters and their levels. Then go to Minitab, click on Start, then click on DOE, then click on Taguchi, create a Taguchi design. Here we have a three level design. How we know that? You can see it here. We have level one, level two and level three. So here what we will do? Three level design. We will have to select number of factors. So again, we have four factors, arc current, arc voltage, cutting speed, torch height. So we will select here four, then design. So we have either L9 or L27. Click on L27, then click OK. Then click on factors. Here you will have to name the factors. So factor names have been given. If you want to make a coded design, just like in my paper, you can see it here coded matrix. The names are A, B, C, D, and it is only in the form of 1, 2, and 3. The low level is represented by 1, and the highest level is represented by 3. So you will have to just click OK and then go to Option, store the design in the worksheet. Yes, we want, then click OK. So you will get the design in the coded form. Here you can, you can see. Uh, there are 27 runs, 4 factors, it's a Taguchi L27 orthogonal array. Now, if you want to make it uncoded, just like again, you can see the uncoded matrix where you have the actual values of the parameters levels. So again, you will have to go to stat, then DOE, Taguchi, analyze Taguchi design. Uh, sorry, go to stat, Taguchi, Taguchi, create a Taguchi design. Here you will have to go to the factors. The names have been already given, but we will have to enter the values. Let me check the values. So the values are 35, 40, and 45. So we will write here, click here, 35, then one space, 40, then a space, 45. Likewise, do it for the rest of them. So I did entry to save the time of the video. So click OK. I have entered all of the values. Click OK and then click OK. Nothing else you will have to do. So you got, this is uncoded design matrix. So you will have to enter your response variable here and then do the analysis. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Bye.